So I've been looking at this um, watercolor palette for a long time from Da Vinci Paints in California. They're a family-run company, um, three generations making paint of some sort. And um, yeah, I really want to try them. I haven't tried any of them before. There's, I believe, just one place, um, maybe two independent art stores here or near me in Toronto that um, carry the brand but I just saw this palette and it was something quite different from what I have already and um, so I've been eyeing it and then um, Biden was made president so I thought well this would be my way of celebrating that news so here we go it only took about a week to ship, so that was pretty good. And there's all the paperwork. That's really nice. Oh, that's really nice. Little shopping bag with um. So I bought a palette of twenty and also three of their smaller watercolors. They do a larger size of their watercolors, um, actually quite large. But these are the. Is it? I think it's more than eight. Yeah, it's only eight. It just seems a lot bigger. So I got these three, um, Denise's Green, which is Denise Soden. They do um, palettes by watercolor artists as well. And um, so Denise has a few. And the one that I got is Paul Jackson, um, his palette. And um, Artemis is really interesting looking color. I can't wait to see that. And then the violet iron oxide. So we'll start with the palette though. And this is a palette. It's called the Wandering Watercolorist Palette. Uh, Paul Jackson is a watercolor master who lives in um, Missouri. He's originally from Camp. Kansas, but he does a lot of travel, so hence the wandering part. I guess he's not traveling right now. And it comes in a tin, which is a nice gray color with um, the Da Vinci, sorry for the head of a cat, um, Da Vinci logo on it. And it comes with this little um, print out of the colors, but I probably do my own. And it warns lots of things in California have a lot of warnings. So the electric yellow and Naples yellow come with a warning, and so does the Jackson blue. So do not ingest. And there it is. So all hand poured. Um, nice little wells here for mixing and in here. The, I think doesn't go flat, so that's okay though. I rarely, well, I tend to use this side more than this side, but anyways, let's, are they in the right order? I believe so. So let's get swatching. a little bit easier. Put that away. And just going to use this water brush. So the first one is Master Yellow. I'll just make sure I'm getting this in shot. Yep. Um, 
this is PY35 and PY43. That's a really, really nice yellow. And then next is Electric Lemon. And that is a very, very bright lemon yellow. That's PY35. And then Marigold. Let's see what their Marigold looks like. Cause I make a color that I call Marigold. It's a really nice kind of light orange. And that was PY65. Uh, I think it just says, I think short form for International Orange. That's almost a vermilion. Next is Fireball. Kind of re-wets a little oddly. Lots of little bubbles there. There we go. And Catman do Alizarin. nice alizarin red Let's see. for the black and then we have let's get that brush clean um rock star pink this seemed like a really interesting wow that is a really intense pink it's like um Opera Rose color. And that's PR122. The Catman Dew Lizard is PB19, which is actually um, a violet. And then PB19 again for Cabaret. Cabernet. Um, got this is the right one. There we go. And that's very like the color I make. Using PV19. And moving on to Aubergine. This is PV19 with PB. 29 and that's a really nice purple some purples are very wishy-washy or too dark and this is a really nice nice purple and then it is once again, my phone was full and I didn't realize and just went on with everything. So you've missed from here on. Um, I poured out the three pinks that I got separately and <clears throat> I was saying how I was going to make my own um, guide for the palette rather than use this paper one. Although I think this, this is a sticker maybe. Don't know. Anyways, that's fine. Um, so I will just continue where I left off. So Aubergine was the last one. Um, let's go on to... Now I have to see where that is. Deep, dark blue. You'll miss all the wonderful things I said about this blue. Like it's kind of cross between Prussian blue and um, indigo. And 
this is PV27 and PV19. And then Ultramarine Dreams. It's nice granulating Ultramarine. And the last on this row is Envy, as in green with. This isn't really a color that I would use very much. But I guess with mixing on its own, I definitely wouldn't use it very much. <clears throat> and then Portrait Pink is the first color on the second row. And I'll say it again that you missed. I don't know anyone that would be this color, but it's a nice rose color. It's PV19, PV29, and PW6. And beside it is Submarine Yellow. It's not too different from Marigold, maybe just a little bit brighter. And then Sienna Fire. That's quite an intense orange, light orange. And beside it is Cowbell. Interesting name for this color. <clears throat> and that is PR101. The Sienna Fire is P062. Um, the Summer in Yellow is P062 with PY97. And this is the deep purple. So it's mostly half pants, and then there's these four full pants. Apparently, these are very important to Paul Jackson. <clears throat> and that's very like um, core watercolor, it has a dioxin purple that's very like that. And then Paul Jackson's own blue. Let's try to get a little bit more in there. And beside that. And that, by the way, is PB28 and PB23. And this is really intense, kind of phthalo blue. That is, it's called Ocean, and it's PB15. And beside that is one of my favorite colors. Not that I use it in painting very much, but... I just put, yes I did, I just put the wrong one there. This is Bora Bora. I love the color teal. And so that's all of them there. You see, um, from the actual palette. And these are the three that I bought as extras. This Artemis, I think, is very like Daniel Smith's Shadow Violet. And um, Roman Small. Um, I don't know if you, if you've seen my 
video I do a review of Roman small paints. They're made in Poland and they're handmade as well. Really, really interesting. Interesting colors. I'm going to do one that's called Shadow Violet as well. And then Violet Oxide Red. So Violet Oxide Red is um, PR101, the Artemis is, now you'll find all the critical information up here on the back of the tube. It has light fastness, which is excellent. And Da Vinci colors are known for their excellent light fastness. Uh, this particular one is PG-18, PB-29, and PR-177. So it doesn't break up into those colors as much as the Roman Small Shadow Violet does. It's acting a little bit more like the Daniel Smith one. And then finally is Denise Soden's green. And it's just a nice sap green, which I use quite a lot in the Daniel Smith range. And I have a big commission that happens to have a lot of foliage, so this would be nice to use. So that's that in two separate, um, kind of two separate videos. Um, I'm going to leave a link in the bottom to the Da Vinci Paints website. Um, and I'll also leave the information about the two independent places, or at least I think there's two, uh, Studio Six and Gortzman's in Toronto, if you happen to be in the Toronto area. They also do shipping. Um, and I'll also leave uh, below a link to the handmade watercolors that I do. Uh, just see if you're interested in something like that. You can go over to my website. Okay. Thanks very much.